Hello and welcome to the demonstration for the company man's little helper built for the international oil field. Here the units are primarily in metric um, whereas the company man's little helper built for the USA is all in imperial units. Okay so you can see the different functionality we have here. Uh, zone payout analysis, formation integrity test calculation, kill mud weight, drill pipe stuck point, and drilling cost per meter. Okay, so this zone payout is a, um, a good quick look uh, with minimal input, gives you a very good idea of what sort of you know, zone you're looking at. So drainage area in hectares, uh, zone thickness in meters, uh, deep resistivity for the water zone. Okay, so you want to pick a, a zone that's good clean sandstone that's as close as possible to the zone of interest and we're interested interested in the deep resistivity curve for that zone. Uh, we also need the porosity for that water zone so the simplest one would be just to take it from the neutron porosity curve. Um, if you wanted to take it one step further, you'd have a look at the neutron porosity uh, and you know, correct it by adding it to the density porosity then dividing it by two. Uh, but this is only a, a, a quick look so taking it straight from the neutron porosity is fine. Uh, we need the deep resistivity curve for the oil zone, uh, the porosity for that oil zone and uh, the oil price dollars per barrel. Now you could set this to one and it'll tell you how many barrels or you know like to see a dollar figure then um, yeah just put it in there so based on these parameters we're looking at a zone with about two and a half million dollars worth of oil in it now that's based on a 50% recovery um, that can vary okay moving along formation integrity test so here you need to enter what pound per gallon you require it to be tested to. Um, this is the, the mud weight that you have in the tanks, uh, casing shoe or wherever you happen to be performing this test in the true vertical depth. Okay, so you're going to have to crank up the pumps to 1430 psi or you know 9900 kPa. Next Kill mud weight, shut in drill pipe pressure, say 600. Uh, true vertical depth, 2300.5. And the mud weight you were drilling with. Okay, so you're going to have to weight up to 10.7 or 11 pounds per gallon, I guess, um, is what it would end up being. Drill pipe stuck point, pipe OD. Uh, 5 inch ID, uh, can't remember exactly, let's just say 4 inch uh, over pull. Okay, so this is, um, you know, pull over and above the weight of the, the pipe string. So let's say we put an extra 60,000 pounds on it. And then how much stretch um, you're measuring in that pipe, you know, normally you'd mark it with a chalk line at the rotary table. Uh, pull on it and then um, see how much it's stretched. Uh, what do we got? Let's say 230 millimeters. Okay, so stuck at approximately 813 meters. Drill bit cost 12,000. Rig cost per hour, say 900. Uh, drilling time, so we've been going at it for 120 hours. Takes 12 hours to trip out of the well, and we've drilled, so we've drilled 1400 meters with this bit. Okay, so at these rates, it's costing $93 to drill one meter. So it's getting up there. Okay, a um, couple of things I should point out here. In the iPhone 4 with uh, OS 4, um, it supports multitasking, so if you leave the application, go into another, um, and then come back into it. Okay, the data is still there. 
So um, the point is I was going to include a way to save this data, but it turns out that's not required and would be a little bit of a waste of memory because of uh, the multitasking support that is native to the iPhone operating system. Um, now one way you may deal with this data rather than writing these values down is to take a screenshot and you do that by pressing this home button plus the power button on top and it's going to capture a shot of the screen and then you can print that um, image out. It's a .png which is, you know, basically it's uh, it's like a JPEG um, except it has a couple of extra channels in it uh, but that's not important. The the point is you can easily print that out with a, the HP or Canon printing applications that are available for free on the App Store um, and you can transfer that file with any number of file transfer applications. So that's just a, a couple of ways you may deal with the, the data that's generated here. Um, that's about it, so thank you very much.